everybody and welcome back to my channel it is mama sila and i am so so sorry it's been a few days maybe more than a few days that i have updated you guys on everything i started selling my own press on nails and so that business has been going super well i'm super excited on that journey but i've also been busy with my Etsy shop and all of the orders there and I'm super blessed and happy that I'm able to be part of your budgeting journey. Today's video I'm going to do all of my orders as well as pack my orders so I'm going to bring you guys along and do that. It's going to be like a sped up version but I really hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah let's just get ready to work. I want to show you guys how my desk setup looks like. So my desk is actually in my room with my son's crib and my bed. So please don't mind that. We only have a two bedroom apartment. My brother is currently using the other room. But this is how my overall desk setup looks like. It's not too messy, but it's not super clean. So first I'll start off with some of the made cash envelopes. They are stored here. And then I have some extra paper some uh, christmas cards i have extra paper i have thank you cards there i have more supplies here this is actually something that's in the work um but i just have extra supplies here and things like that i have my cash breakdown cards there and just extra paper supplies in this drawer it's a little messy but it works for me so here are all the clips that i have for cash envelopes or if i'm making the clear cash envelopes i use those um i have my scissors my ruler here extra pens and things there i have tape a stapler just in case and then those are extra paper and some giveaway things there Next, right here, I have my regular paper. I also have on top some extra white paper that I use for my cash envelopes. Right next to the desk on the right side, I have my printer. I have this container right on top of my printer. These are to clean the cash envelopes. And I have some gloves just in case. And this box, this container is actually for any mail that I'm shipping off for the day. Here's my trash can. That right there is Ethan's money because he loves to play with my money. So I bought him some money for him. Now we are moving to the middle of my desk. So we go ahead and open this. That's not supposed to be there. So in here I have the pens that I am using. And you guys saw earlier, I have the extra pens. I have my nail glue just in case a nail pops off while I'm working. I have hair ties there white out and this i also use to clean any cash envelopes the clear ones i have some little mini thank you stickers that i either place on like my shipping packages and then right here are like the mini clear laminating sheets next i typically just have my laminating sheets here but sometimes I have extra things like right here. I think these are like extra printouts that I need to cut out. And right here I have my smaller laminating sheets. These papers I need to cut, but I typically cut them and I put them right here. And those are for all of my little thank you notes. I do write them as I'm packing. So I am going to have to cut that out eventually. And then right here, I have all of my extra paper and stockpile. Right here, I have my wallet with some important things. And then some of my cash envelopes are right there. Under my desk, which I usually have the trash right here, but it's by the printer for now. This is for all of my nail stuff that is for my other business. And then on top of my desk here, I have my planners and a lot of extra junk. These are some cash envelopes that I'm working on to eventually list. But I am thinking about listing on my own website instead of Etsy. So if you guys 
are interested in some cash envelopes then i will be listing them shortly i'm not sure when but hopefully sometime during the week here are some more cash envelopes that i need to cut as well as mini cash envelopes i have this conjunction i know it's a mess but this isn't supposed to be here so i have some plastic bags where i put any of my stickers or any cash envelopes people buy i have my shipping labels under that so i just keep it here so it's all together then here in the second drawer i keep my sticker paper and then some extra paper and then right here i have all of my stickers that are already made and ready to ship it's not organized right now but that is what currently works for me right here on top are some shipping materials so let's bring it down i did have to order more which they came so here are some mailers i have bubble mailers i have this i have this box and these were for the cups that i used to sell i have other small bags i think they're called like cellophane bags and then i also have bigger mailers and then I have my hand sanitizers. These two are actually things that I need to pack and ship. I have extra color. I have extra colors for Ethan. And then also this cup is a giveaway that is still in the works and I need to announce the giveaway winner. And then right there is the box of mailers that I just received. And then under there I have more packing. And then under there, I have bigger mailers. And then under that, I have more of these boxes. And then I usually have a drink here with me because when I work, I love to work and just sit at the desk and drink coffee. And then those boxes are trash. So don't mind that. But that is the overall layout for my desk. This right here is my nail stuff and my son's skateboard and my visionary board that i need to update but that is another story now let's get into my orders and my shipping and packing hey guys so i am just finishing up one order i have to cut some things but I already laid out all of the shipping orders and all of the products that they purchased as well as I already printed out the shipping labels. So well, that's what I usually do and then I separate everything and then I have four orders so I will get four mailers and then depending on if they bought stickers small stickers or whatnot so i will get three of these big cellophane bags and then they bought small cash breakdowns and then i inserted some small stickers so i need the small cellophane bags which are located right here And then as my computer was um, turning on earlier before I even started doing the orders, I wrote down little thank you notes and then I usually put their names on here. I usually do the thank you notes as I'm packing or like at the very, that's like the very last thing, but I had the time so I did it before I even did that. And then what I do is I make sure that all of the stickers or cash envelopes that they purchased are here. So I just recheck it and then I grab a pen. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. I'll check off the stickers and then I put in a few extra ones just to be nice. And sometimes I have some stickers that cut incorrectly. And so I will just give it away because I'm assuming that they'll use it and put good use into it rather than if it just stayed at my house. So I just insert the stickers, the thank you card in the front, 
and then I fold their order and then I place it in the back of the stickers. Then next I will take off the little sticker piece and then simply close up the package, make sure there's no air in there. Hold it a little bit and then I insert their order into the package and then I seal it up. You also want to make sure that it's the correct name so you can just go ahead and look at it and then I make sure that it's the correct name and stuff. Yeah. So I'll place that in there. And then after that, after I seal it, then I place the shipping label on there. And the shipping labels that I purchase are on Amazon. I get the one that you print two labels on one piece of paper. It's a regular eight and a half by 11. I would like to eventually invest in a shipping label maker but that's currently just not in my budget right now so that's how I do the orders and then I want to put my new thank you labels on and I think I'm gonna change my whole like branding thing my mama's yellow budgets to all black and white because I just really like the aesthetic and so that's how it looks. And then I'm just gonna speed up the process for the rest of my orders. packages right here I would show you the front but it shows personal information so I'm not going to but if you got some inspo some tips or tricks or any of that please leave it down in the comments below and I would love to hear if you started your Etsy shop yet or whatever business you do start um, I'm here if you need me and thank you for watching bye everyone